finally time! We are heading off to the baby pool uh, to hang out and do our baby pool 2.0. This is the follow-up pool to our original pool for these units. We were only able to get um, Summer, Sol uh, Vol Volca, and Citra the first time around. Just one copy, which actually has been serving me super well in the arena because she's a bonus unit this week and so I've been playing around with her and she's pretty stellar at six stars. I'm not complaining, but um, would love to get Fina and Lid, and then um, I dupe uh, Falcon Citra if possible so we can upgrade her to a seven star. So I've been working on this all week trying to rack up some lapis. I completed completely depleted my, let's see, um, let's actually, before we get into them specifically, I have my free daily, I saved it for, for now. You know how hard it is to save all these tickets too for one day? Um, but it's, it's more fun this way, right? I, I, I guess. Um, so we'll start off here. Uh, totally not specific to our summer swimsuit editions, but that's all right. The sad thing about having 10,000 lapis though is that I'm just shy of that fifth step on the step up. Didn't expect much there, so that's totally fine. And now let's head to the standard summon where we will use our five plus ones. Actually, I do have a couple EX tickets. Let's just get rid of those. Burn those blues. I um, I took on so much to get um, to get these guys or get all these tickets. I went and I finished that Bahamut thing. I got the 90% blue ticket for that. Jomino. Not not a TMR I remotely need. But anyway, yeah, so I um I got that ticket, the 90% blue ticket from Bahamut. I you know, and going through all of those maps with like the absurd uh enemy encounter rate. I mean it was ludicrous that encounter rate, gotta say. Um, even after I used the guy with the reduced encounter. Um, and so, securing that ticket was big, and then, um, mostly because I knew for all of the work that I did that it was most likely gonna, I mean, I should be more optimistic, but let's, let's be honest, it's most likely gonna produce me a, uh, a blue, t a blue, you know, whatever, three star blue crystal, but it represents all the blood, sweat, and tears. Okay, about this ones, these hold promise. This could be anything, really. Maybe I'll get some Regina characters in here. Maybe I'll get just blues. It's cool. Let's go see. Nope. But we got two golds. All right, let's try the other one. Um, and then what else did I do? Oh, I went back and I looked at my espers, and I had, I only had the single star of Leviathan and Phoenix, so I went back and I got the second star of Leviathan and Phoenix, and then I didn't have Tetrasulfid, like I never went and did that, did all that, so um. I got one, two, and three of her, and I got three star Siren, three star Golem. Um, I finally got my tickets from the stupid Bloody Moon uh, Torturous Trio. Two tickets there. Um, I went into the Chamber of the Indignant, fought the White Dragon, the Demon Chimera, the Brachiosaur, collected their tickets. Whoosh! Well, I should be happy I got three four stars, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, like I said, we weren't we didn't have much there. But yeah, I feel like um there was actually a lot that I had to do. Um it kept me busy, it got me a lot of lapis in the process, and and a bunch of tickets. So let's get going with those things right now. I feel like now we're we're where we need to be. All that other stuff was kinda gravy. Uh, not the character gravy, it was just like, you know, just extraneous little opportunity. You know what gravy means. Alright, whatever. Alright, let's do it. Ticket summons. So we're gonna keep that 5 star 10% for last. That's my Bahamut. 
tour of Bahamut's realm that took freaking forever. Um, my luck last time in the pools was with my four star tickets. That was my one and only chance to get a, um, a swimsuit edition. That's where I got my, my citron polka. Um, so I'm going to put, I'm going to, I don't know, should I, should I keep my hope for, for that or should I keep my hope for the step up? I don't know. But these rare tickets, I don't really, you know, every once in a while you look out, but I'm not, I'm not sweating them. And then actually, you know, so today we also found out that we were, um, getting the, the Final Fantasy VII characters. Which, um, and I say Eris, so I'm like the, the weirdo that doesn't say Aerith. I don't say Ares, I say Eris. Um, that's, that's how I knew her back in the day. Um, anyway, so we get her and we get Red 13. And so now I'm a little conflicted. I've been saving up all this lapis, um, for my baby pool. Ooh, 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 Unamas. And... Glory of light. Mm, don't need ya. Um. Anyway, so. Eh. I I tried to do Diabolos, and man, that death thing. That's no fun. I'm not a fan of that. So we got close a lot of times, but you know, I think that there's some. In order to get the the tickets, which is what I was seeking. It wanted me to do something that I just ran us. Um, wasn't wasn't able to pull off. I don't know if it was the the Esper thing or, or defeat him with limit burst or whatever it was. Um, but we kept getting real close to that, and that's what really what we we're going for. So, <gasps> whoa, nice a rainbow on a rare ticket. Now this is what I call rare summon. All right, all right, come on. On banner, on banner. You know you want to. Ramza! Man! That was kind of a letdown. A gold ticket to get a rainbow, and it's Ramza. Shoot. All right, cat's starting to go crazy. Um. That's probably that's the last rainbow I'm gonna see for a while, I bet. Um Ah, uh, Larsa. Larsa, you're a funny character. I had so many questions about you when I played Final Fantasy twelve and so many predictions and um I wasn't right on all of them, but you were fun to watch. I think it was your eyebrows that threw everything off. Um Anyway, so the Millipede situation, for anybody curious and concerned, um, it's kind of still the same situation. Um, like, the entire vicinity of people is freaking out because, you know, we're all, uh, we've all got Millipedes invading our homes um, and multiplying, like, in crazy numbers. Um... And did I show you? Did I show you what I found on the porch after? Because I, I showed I showed you the tarantula that was hanging out on my front door. Um, but then, like later that evening, as I was walking past, I saw um, I saw this one. Okay, see that one yet? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I showed it. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I can't keep track anymore. I was too. I was drowning in energy and um, and tickets and, and lapis collecting and all that. But it was actually good timing because there hasn't really been that all you know much to do um, in the game because. They, they pulled a item world, which is fine, because that one always stresses me out, because it's like, I feel like I should, I don't know, I 
feel like I'm missing out. Like, oh, okay. Again? Again? Uh, I feel like... I like it, but... It makes me feel like, oh, limited time, I gotta get in there. Okay, good, um... Good nod to what's ahead. Do we see this as an omen? Foreshadowing? Summertime Luca. Bring your, bring your gal pals. Bring your swimsuit additions. We want to hang out with all of them in the baby pool. These, um, these rare tickets have not been too bad, I gotta say. We've been doing all right. We got a couple golds and we got the rainbow. Granted, it was Ramza. But I've got nine four-star tickets waiting. I hope you feel good about those. So anyway, yeah, Final Fantasy VII's coming. Eris, like, I feel fine. Like, I don't necessarily need that unit. But, um, but I really, really dig Red 13. I liked him a lot when I played that game. Uh, Final Fantasy VII in particular is not my favorite, you know, okay, I got the tomatoes in my face, I felt, well, that one is, you know, smashed really hard. Um, but it's just not, like, I, I enjoyed it at the time, like, I actually played it on the PC because we were, like, and my family is super, um, like, stubborn about the fact that we were not going to fall for this whole, like, oh, Final Fantasy is now on Sony devices. You need to buy Sony consoles. We were like, Psh, <laughs> Nintendo, Nintendo only. Like, we're not falling for that shite. So we were not going to cross over. So I played Final Fantasy VII on the PC, which was fine certainly didn't help or hinder the graphics, the blocky graphics. It was all the same. It was strange, like, I mean, getting used to the controls and all that, but you do. Yeah, like you do. And anyway, so I just felt like after six that the characters just kind of lacked. Beach Time Fina, oh my gosh, guys, the cues are all here. Beach Time Fina, Summertime Luca, we are, we are on the right path if we could just cross over into some rainbow territory. Um, okay, well we're crossing into the four-star tickets. Let's do it. We've got these four-star tickets. We have eight of them, and then we have the 90% blue ticket, and then we're going to do two steps if we still don't have what we need. I am prepared to spend my lapis. Um, anyway, I just felt like, um, the, oh, there's so many characters in Six that I was really emotionally invested in them and in their stories and their relationships with each other and whatnot. And there was just so many in, um, Kahana, you were such a bee. Um, there were so many in Seven that, I don't know, they're kind of flat. I think Eris is the kind of one that I would really like, but then, you know, she, you know, we you know what happened to her. But, um, you know, it's, it's kind of one of those things where either the story grips you or it doesn't. The characters grip you or they don't. Um, and Seven, I enjoyed playing it. It was a Final Fantasy game, so I was happy to play it. But, um, it just, nothing, you know, I don't have, I, I didn't get the feels for it like I did with Six and Four even. And then, um, Never could get into eight. Um, pretty much like the, the slog of, of the first part of the game. Um, just, I couldn't, you know, the whole atmosphere really. And maybe that was the problem with seven as well. It's like it started out very industrial and dark. And then you finally do get into that, that beautiful open world. Um, but I don't know, preferences, right? It's all about preferences. Not good, bad, or, you know, indifferent, just preferences. Um, and then... Mm. But, you know, I, 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 I did feel that out of all, all, all the characters, Red 13, I, I really liked him. He was, he was, I was a big fan of him. A big fan of his, I should say. Sedona, man, you're showing up all over the place. 
So, I don't know. I mean, these four star tickets haven't been as magical. And I worked hard for these guys. And, you know. So far, I don't have a lot to show for it. But that's alright. It was stuff I needed to do anyway. We're keeping a positive attitude on this. Where to save the earth? You're a good guy. Um, I think, like, in general, when it comes to Final Fantasy games, there's a couple of things. Like, I mean, I'm I'm prepared for the stoic character. It's usually the main character. I don't know. I mean, I get it's it's kind of a it's a trope. But there needs to be like the spirit of camaraderie, and I felt like six captured that so so well. And um, and then seven, it just kind of felt a little disjointed. I mean, Tifa and Barrett were pals, but all right, last four star ticket. I think this is where I got my Citra and Volca last time. Was my last four star ticket. Are we gonna get lucky? Mm, unless it changes. This is the one. This is the one from Bahamut, guys. This is the one that we worked so hard for. We we really tried to get this for the first Swimsuit Editions poll, and I couldn't get there. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on. No whammies. No whammies. Um, hmm. Glad I did all that work. to boot. Good lord. Alright. Off to the step up we go. I think the reason it's so important for me to get these chicks is because they they have a mixed kit and I benefit from that. I benefit like I need I need help. I need lots of help. Okay. Here we go. We get a guaranteed five star. We already know that. So we're not going to fall for the whatever crystal changing at the beginning or the end, wherever it is. Because we know we get one. Oh, come on. Another one, please. Oh, man. Well, that was sad. Didn't need him. Cool, some more points to use at that shop. That doesn't really have much that I need or want right now. Oh, that's the other way I got tickets was I bought, you know, all the King Mog tickets and Minister Mog tickets and all these exchange shop tickets. All right, last well, chance, guys. So far, not so good. Man, this baby pool was just totally overhyped, yeah? I apologize, everyone was... Everyone was right to... To not have any faith in me. Well... That's that, right? Oh no, so we get that one more 10% 5 star. But that is that. Wow. We did a lot of work for this, but you know what? It was work we needed to do, really, to kind of catch up and get, get involved. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Well, here gold, that's better than blue. Elvis. Here 
cool. You're a good unit. I like your sword. Alright guys, I guess it's EOC time. Let's go try. Oh no, this is a pull for Regina units. Well, why not? Let's pull together on this one. Um, but yeah, it really is arbitrary and you can't feel bad about it. You can't feel good about it when, you know, well, you, you, know, you can feel good about it when you get something good. But it has nothing to do with, with you personally. Gilbert, I don't need you. Alright, hey, thanks for your support, thanks for hanging out. Um, is what it is, right? And looking looking forward to seeing everybody else's um, results, excitement, hearing about what you got, what you didn't get. Because hey, like I said, we're all human. We're all in this together. I mean, it's all arbitrary, right? Yeah. So everybody have a good night. I'm, oh, I can't even feed my cat yet. She's going to yell for another hour. Shoot. So, um, yeah, well, watch out for bugs and have a good one. And good luck pulling on, on Final Fantasy VII and on Regina and whatever you want. All right. Take care. Bye.